Uh, today in the radiology spotter series, we will discuss a very important uh, neuroradiological diagnosis. And uh, I'll talk about this in a little while with the history and the presentations so that you are able to build up in a retrograde manner. So uh, this patient, a 42 year old female presented with complaints of severe headache for last six years with uh, a frequency of two per year. She also has progressive mental deterioration since last eight years. She has intermittent occasional numbness of the arm and the leg, usually lasting less than 15 minutes. She also has behavioral changes in the last few years. And she has family history uh, that father died of uh, at the age of 56 and uncle had a history of ischemic cerebrovascular accident at 50 years of age. So what are the key take homes that you have in the presenting complaints? Uh, relatively young, you know, between 30 to 50 years age group, headache, progressive cognitive decline, uh, episodes of ischemic episodes, uh, transient ischemic episodes, uh, psychiatric symptoms and uh, a very strong family history of ischemic disease. An MRI brain was advised in this patient. So uh, look at this first image, you will see there is, this is the flare MRI image showing abnormal signal in the anterior temporal lobe. Anterior temporal lobe involvement is seen in this image. And if I look at this, you can see confluent subcortical white matter abnormalities, more so in the frontal and around the lateral ventricles. And you see abnormal signal along the external capsule. So this, uh, and if I go a little higher up, you can see confluent subcortical periventricular, more in the frontal lobe, white matter abnormalities. So looking at these MRI picture of, uh, you know, uh, subcortical white matter abnormalities and uh, the external capsule involvement, anterior temporal involvement, with the clinical scenario of headache, recurrent TIA, strong family history of stroke, and a relatively young age between 30 to 50, you will keep a diagnosis of Cadesil. So what is Cadesil? Cadesil is cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy. It is uh, associated with mutations in the notch 3 gene of chromosome 19 and usually you will confirm it by genetic analysis on this. So we have kept a diagnosis of Cadesil on the basis of this MRI findings of anterior temporal lobe involvement and external capsule involvement. Usually they occur early in the course of this disease and they are very typical for Cadesil diagnosis. In addition to the white matter and usually the frontal lobe is involved, the involvement is more heavy in the frontal lobe as compared to the posterior part. So that is how we have kept the diagnosis of Cadesil in this MRI image. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Radiology Spotter Series. Please follow us on the Dams Daily channel of YouTube for more such informational videos.